Hi friends, welcome to Bioglow. If you like this channel, please like, share and subscribe. Today we are going to discuss the bacteria Clostridium tetani. Myself, Muhammad Yazile, Assistant Professor of Microbiology, Marcus Arts and Science College, Adhavanad. History Clostridium tetani was first demonstrated by Rosenberg in 1886 from a case of tetanus. Kitasato in 1889 isolated in pure culture and reproduced the disease in experimental animal. Morphology Clostridium tetani is a gram-positive bacilli. The size of the bacilli is 2 to 4 micrometer into 0 0.4 to 0.5 micrometer. 2 to 4 micrometer in length and 0 0.4 to 0 0.5 micrometer in breadth. The large filaments may occur in the case of Clostridium tetani. Clostridium tetany is motile by peritrichus flagella except type 6 tetany. Non-capsulated, it's highly spore-forming organism. Spore-formed is terminal, spherical and bulging. The spores gives drumstick appearance to the bacilli. That is the peculiar feature of the morphology of Clostridium tetany. It's a drumstick-like bacteria. Then cultural characteristics. Clostridium tetany is an obligate anaerobe. The optimum temperature is 37 degrees Celsius and optimum pH is 7.2 to 7.4. Then what are the media and colony characteristics of Clostridium tetany? Media, blood agar, Robertson cooked meat medium, thioglycolate growth are used for the cultivation of tetany. Robertson cooked media is an anaerobic media used in the field of microbiology. On blood agar, they are forming swarming spreading type of growth with alpha hemolytic followed by beta hemolytic. Alpha hemolysis is formed green dark colored colonies whereas beta hemolytic colonies forming light and or yellow or transparent colonies. The Nagar stab culture they are giving fir tree appearance. Fir tree means nothing but it's a like Christmas tree appearance. Then Robertson cooked meat medium, it becomes turbid, meat is not digested but becomes slightly black and showing slight proteolytic effect. On RCM, they are forming turbid and slightly black and type colonies. Then biochemical reactions, highly proteolytic organism, does not attack any sugars, it forms indole, then methyl red, August proscus, citrate test are negative. So, plus, minus, minus, minus. Then HTOS is not formed. Then gelatin liquefaction test is negative and that does not reduce nitrate. Then what are the resistance factors for Clostridium tetany? Clostridium tetany can usually killed by boiling for 10 to 15 minutes. And autoclaving is an efficient method for the destruction of spores present in the Clostridium tetany. Then spores are resistant to most antiseptics. One percentage iodine and hydrogen peroxide kill the spores in few hours. Then toxins. What are the toxins present in Clostridium tetany? Tetanolysin and tetanospasmin are the two main types of toxins produced by Clostridium tetany. First of all, tetanolysin. It is a heat label and oxygen label hemolysin. Hemolysin means any substance that cause lysis in RBC. Their pathogenic role is unknown and antigenically it is related to the oxygen label hemolysin produced by Clostridium welshi and Clostridium edimatians. These are other types of Clostridium species that is known as Clostridium welshi and Clostridium edimatians. Then tetanospasmin, it's a neurotoxin produced by Clostridium tetany. It's heat label and oxygen label powerful neurotoxin. It is highly proteinaceous in nature. Hence, it's destroyed by proteolytic enzymes. And also, it is plasmid coded toxin. It is a heterodimer consists of a large polypeptide chain and a small polypeptide chain linked together by a disulfide bond. It is antigenic and specifically neutralized by antitoxin and it can be toxoided. 
Then pathogenicity. Pathogenicity is the ability of the organism to cause different types of diseases. Clostridium betony is the cause of the disease that is known as tetanus. Tetanus occurs the following. In the case of injury, and then conditions like unsterile injection, dirty practices such as application of cow dung on the umbilical stem, then rituals such as circumcision or ear boring. Circumcision means removal of foreskin from human penis. Then septic abortion. Septic abortion means nothing. An infection of placenta and fetus of a pre-viable pregnancy. Then predisposing factors. What are the predisposing factors affecting clostridium tetany? Contamination of wound with tetanus pores result in tetanus when anaerobic conditions exist. Factors favoring anaerobic conditions are destruction and necrosis of tissues, lack of drainage in the specific area, then presence of foreign bodies and infections with other bacteria. These are the factors favoring anaerobic conditions. Then disease development. In what ways the tetanus disease to be developed by using Clostridium tetany? First one, wound is contaminated by spores produced by Clostridium tetany. Then this pose is germinated and multiplicated. Then production of neurotoxin. The neurotoxin is absorbed by nerve endings. Then toxins reaches the central nervous system through nerves. This toxin fixes gangliosides of grey matter and blocks synaptic inhibition in the spinal cord. This causes uncontrolled spread of impulses in the central nervous system and results in muscle rigidity and spasms. Spasm means nothing. It's a sudden involuntary muscular contraction. Then what are the clinical features of Clostridium tetany? Incubation period is 2 to 7 weeks, mainly 6 to 12 days. The site and nature of the wound, dose and toxicity of an organism and immune status of host are influence the clinical features. Then experimental tetanus is mainly of three types. Local, ascending and descending. First one local type. During the local type, they develop spasm at the site of injection. In ascending type, spreads to the spinal cord from the local site. Then descending type resembles like the natural type of tetanus. When toxin is injected intravenously, the spasm develops in head and neck and then spreads downwards. Tonic muscle spasm at the site of infection becomes generalized involving whole of somatic muscular system. Then spastic paralysis involves in jaw muscles that is known as locked jaw disease. Spastic, spastic paralysis means irritable feeling in muscle movements. Then other types of tetanus are tetanus neonatorum, uterine tetanus and autogenic tetanus. These are the other types of tetanus produced by Clostridium tetany. Then laboratory diagnosis. Specimen necrotic tissue from depth of the wound is taken as a specimen. Then extrudates from wound or wound swab is taken. Then what are the collection of specimen? Necrotic tissue bits excised and collected in anaerobic transport media. Alternately extrudates from wound, wound swab may be collected and transported in anaerobic transport media. While doing microscopy, we can get gram-positive bacilli. Then what are the treatment strategies adopted for Clostridium tetany? Isolation is the first strategy used in the case of tetanus infection. Isolation means for protection from noise and light. Human anti-tetanus immunoglobulin followed by full course of active immunization. Then second one, control the spasms. Then there are maintenance of airway by tracheostomic methods. Then attention to feeding. Then drugs like penicillin or metronidazole are effective for the treatment of Clostridium tetany. Then full course of active immunization in patient, patients recovering from tetanus. Then what are the prophylactic measures applied for the treatment of Clostridium tetany infection? Surgical. It is the removal of foreign body or necrotic tissue and blood clots to prevent development of anaerobic environment. 
Then second, antibiotic prophylaxis. Its usual treatment method used in the case of tetanus infection. If administered in four hours, may destroy or inhibit bacilli and toxin production is prevented. Penicillin and tetracycline are the effective antibiotics used in the treatment of Clostridium tetany. Then bacitracin or neomycin is applied locally. Then active, passive and combined immunization is the very effective method in the prophylactic measures of Clostridium tetany. Then active immunization. Formal toxoid or toxoid absorbed on aluminium phosphate or hydroxide is also given as triple vaccine like DPT. DPT means diphtheria pertussis tetanus vaccine. It acts as active immunization. Toxoid. Toxoid is given as three doses intramuscularly at an interval of four to six weeks. Between first and second doses and six months between second and third doses. So four to six weeks between first and second dose and six months between second and third dose. Then immunity long lasting up to 10 years. Booster dose is given after 10 years or after three years if wounding occurs. Then passive immunization. Passive immunization means anti tetanus serum or human anti tetanus immunoglobulin is applied to the patients. Recommended only in non immune persons at risk and only once. Then anti tetanus serum is in the unit of 1500 IU. Then human anti tetanus immunoglobulin TIG is 250. IU. Then disadvantage of ATS is immune elimination and it forming hypersensitivity reactions. Then combined immunization. Combined immunization means TIG on one hand and applying toxoid on another hand followed by second and third dose of toxoid. This is all about combined immunization. So thank you for watching this video. If you like this channel, please like, share and subscribe.